Here we've got Ewan dressed as a sergeant of the East Surrey Regiment in 1914, a member of the BEF, uh, dressed literally from head to foot. On those feet, we've got a pair of boots, ankle boots worn with putties, stop mud and dirt getting into your boots. Then above that, trousers and a tunic. Color, of course, is to the army, drab. To everybody else, it's khaki, and that's an Indian word that means dusty, developed on the Northwest frontier. Set of equipments takes 150 rounds, two pints of water, head for the entrenching tool, and on the other hip, we've got his rations, we've got the bayonet, and the, actually the handle for the entrenching tool. Uh, you're wearing it for the first time, how does it feel? It feels very hot, it really does, and uh, really quite, I'm quite enclosed in it. I can't, I've, I've not got any scope to move about, kind of. Yeah, well the good news is what you can do on the march is that you can undo your waist belt completely, like that, and you can undo your collar and march easy. So that's the way you can do it. It's balanced so it doesn't fall to pieces. The Germans can't wear it un undone. They have to march informally, which is quite useful for us because the weather in August of 14 is very hot. And on your back, of course, you've got everything else you might need. Can you spin round? It just shows the back. And here's then the large pack. This won't be continued to be worn for much longer because it really is cumbersome. In there, we've got your mess tin so you can do your cooking. You've got your spare pants, spare socks, and a great coat, something to sleep in at night or wear when it rains. And if you just turn around again on your head, no protection at this point in the war. You've got your cap with your cap badge, plenty of detail there, um, but obviously lots of regimental pride as well.